James White here again. So the reaction from last week's video was really popular and people loved the questions and the answers I provided, which have given them some insights into how to get better at selling. So I thought, what better to do than share a few more of the questions that I answered. This week, I'm gonna share some thoughts around how you can overcome the fear of using the telephone, be more effective in creating a sales pipeline, and really focus on selling your value and never worry about the price you charge. Let's have a look at this week's questions and let's make sure we give you some insights and answers to get better sales results, more sales success, and stop worrying about sales and the impact it has on your business. Let's have a look at the video. How can businesses be more effective in creating their pipeline? It's a great question, Mike, and the honest answer is take action. So I always say to people, sales is driven on two things, the action that you take and how you take the action. And the reality is, uh, I, I talk about fat funnels, you know, so fat funnels are literally having lots and lots of people at the top of your funnel, lots and lots of people that want to engage with you and what you do. And if you're not taking action, then, and firstly, there's this concept that, you know, well, I'll put a few things out there socially and it will come to me. Oh, excuse me, I'm not allowed to swear, maybe I'm bullshit, but I will. It's, it's rubbish, it doesn't happen that way. You have to take action. You have to be able to be proactive in developing a plan that says, who am I going after? How can I then, be, why am I a perfect fit for those people? What tools have I got to be able to engage with those people? What value can I give? I have this concept of show value before vanity. And you've got to be in a position where you, you don't, if you expect the business to come to you, I'm sorry to say, you're going to be sadly mistaken. You've got to be proactive, but do it in the right way. And generally in sales, the work we do now will have an effect in two to three months time. So my question to people now is what value are you adding to your prospects and to your pipeline right now? Because that value, if you keep on adding value and keep on engaging and listening and understanding, will start to deliver results in two, three months time. If you don't do the work now, don't be surprised if, if the pipeline looks empty in a couple of months time. As well. I'm speaking to people right now. I'm seeing that people are worried about their pricing in the current climate. So mm. what tips were you sharing in, in that social post and share now? Yeah, no, I do share a lot of stuff on you know, social media. Find, you know, if you get a chance, James White Sales, I'm sure Mike will share some of the details of that. But the, the selling your value is about being able to do a number of things. I think it's firstly about being able to know where you're perfect and where you're a sweet spot for. So I always say to people, people only buy for two reasons, a problem or a one. And the reality is it's never the price that's the issue. It's just that they don't value it enough. Now, obviously there is a level to that. If you, you know, you wouldn't go into a Range Rover garage and, and ask for a car, a, range, a brand new Range Rover, the same price as a Hyundai. So you have to have a, 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 a target audience that you work with and engage. And I think one of the challenges that most business owners have, again, and again, I, I say this from my own mistakes in businesses that I've had, is that you're not specific enough about the audience and who they are and why they're gonna, why what you do makes a real difference in their world. And when you're quite niched and quite targeted, and if you look at a lot of the best businesses that have grown up over the years, you know, people talk about Tony Robbins, this great, incredible motivational speaker. He started off as a, someone that helped people stop smoking. So he was a niche focus and then built his, you know, Richard Branson, Alan Sugar, they've all started as a niche and built up from there. So if you want to gain value, be, be really something to someone rather than everything to everyone is the, is the first point. And the second element around that is, is, is show value and give them, give them things that make them think when you phone or when they see your email drop in their inbox, that you're valuable, you're helpful, you're someone that adds to their world, you're someone that makes them think, I didn't know that, that's useful, that's helpful. When you do that, you build value in the mind of people and as a result of that, you can then start to be really quite clear about being able to say this is what I charge and what I do and the impact it has. And then the third thing is talk about that business case and that impact. If you if you charge £5,000 a day and your company or the company you're selling or working with sells widgets at a penny a day, you're going to need to sell a large amount of them to be able to make that value. Mm -hmm. So think in their world, look at it from their perspective and how they will use what you do to be able to, to gain a return. Because ultimately, they're generally going to only buy when they can see a return on investment. Mm -hmm. And when you start thinking like them, on what they're going through and what they would do, you can then start to, 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 to really get them to see that value and hopefully then share it. And the final thing and I say about value is prices. Little tip for everyone watching, repeat your price on a regular basis. So I will say to clients I work with, repeat your price. I will, tell, I will tell clients to repeat their price literally 30, 40, 50 times in a day. They sometimes want to, they want to come over and punch me in the face because they're fed up with me asking. But what it means is that your brain then, when someone asks you your price, you're able to say, well, my price is 5,000 pounds a day. And someone says, well, that's too expensive. Well, really? Okay, compared to what? So actually, because you're so comfortable and confident in the language you use about that pricing, prospects feed off your uncertainty. And so when you're confident about it, 
and because you've repeated it, repeated it so many times, it, it enables you to then you know, show them that, yeah, you are confident about it because you can deliver a return for them. But don't go after everyone and everyone. That's probably the big thing for that. If you, if you go after everyone and everyone, you'll, you won't get that same value. Yeah. What tips would you share to help people overcome the fear of using the telephone? Great, it is great. And I, use, I have a quote that I say to people, you know, you don't email the fire brigade if your house is on fire. So especially if you're in lockdown and the business isn't going where you want to go, then you need to take the right action. A couple of things you need to do. If it's the first, there's two types of calls. If it's, a, if, if it's the first, what I call targeted call. Cold calling is dead, targeted calling is not. Targeted calling is when you know there's a specific audience that you're perfect for, and you've got evidence and examples of other people similar to them that you've helped. If you want to be able to engage with those people, there are some scripts and there's some outlines on my website, have a look, jameswhite.business, where you can get, a, the key thing is to prepare and prepare in the right way for those calls. Do a bit of practice, do a bit of role play, talk into the mirror, get yourself feeling comfortable to make those calls and to handle the objection which, which will come back saying, which will be, can you call me back? Or I'm not interested. You're going to get them. So how do you respond to that? So that's the first thing. In terms of the other types of calls, yeah, I mean, I get people a lot of the time, they say, oh, I've emailed someone. I'm like, okay, great, so what's gonna happen now? And they'll say, oh, well, I'll wait for them to email me back. And I'm like, right, so every week that goes by and every end of month comes and the mortgage and whatever else is not being paid or the business is, is not getting there and the wage bill is higher, you're gonna wait for them. Sales is all about being in control of your own destiny. So don't let other people control your sales targets and your sales numbers. Be driven by it yourself. And so I always say to people, get on the phone, talk to people. And if they say, if they can't give you a commitment to give a time and date um, or don't want to come back to you, then you've got to actually look in the mirror and assess that. Is it because they don't really interested and they're just being nice and British and polite? Or is it just because they've got other stuff on? Little tip for everyone watching this, never end a sales conversation without having a definitive date and time for the next sales activity to happen. So if I was going to talk to you and say, look, I really, really appreciate chatting to you today, Mike, and I think we've had a great conversation. I'd love to follow up with you and talk about the next stages. How does next Tuesday at 4 p.m. sound? If someone won't give you that commitment back, there's a disconnect between you, what you think and they think. And you're better off to know that early than you are to hope that they're going to be a prospect and then you know, not take action. But 100%, get on the phone. The phone is our best business tool. And anyone that says it's dead is talking rubbish. So there you have it. Those are again the questions that I shared in an interview a while back, which are helping business owners get great results. And I've shared these answers when I've presented, when I've met with people. They are the things that I think are critical to sales success and getting confident and achieving sales results. And if I can help you and support you in your business, then reach out to me or my team at James White Sales or at the Small Business Sales Academy and we'll make sure we give you the support to help you and your company feel comfortable about selling, get great sales results, and move forward and make 2022 a brilliant year. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's make sure we get you and your teams and others that you work with and care for the insights and knowledge needed to become really successful with sales and get brilliant sales results. Thanks and see you soon.